the most unsatisfying product in your entire home theater system is always going to be your subwoofer. Now, we all know that subwoofers are a very tricky game. First of all, the placement of the subwoofer is always confusing because there is no standard definition to it. Second of all, identifying the right subwoofer which can give good bass in your entire room. Now, whether to go for one subwoofers or two, two subwoofers or more than two subwoofers is again another question. And lastly, how to integrate the subwoofers so that the bass management of the subwoofers and of the main speakers can blend well in your entire room. Now, if you are facing these challenges and considering to either upgrade a subwoofer or to add some more subwoofers in your home theater system, then this video is for you. Now we have simplified this video for all of you in four parts. The first part is wherein we will be talking about the pros of having multiple subwoofers. In the second part, we are going to discuss upon the cons of having multiple subwoofers. In the third section, we are going to talk about whether you can actually have two different model subwoofers in one cinema room. And lastly, we are going to discuss upon some of the best placement options when you have two or more subwoofers. Now, the first objective or advantage of having multiple subwoofers is always going to be more listening positions. Now, if you have only one setting location, then in that case, one subwoofer can work for you, but even two subwoofers can still work. Now, more number of people in the room and more seats in the room, you will definitely need more subwoofers because not each of these sitting position will get the same base response. And that is where adding a second subwoofer or more subwoofers will always play an important role in giving a balanced and an even sound across all the seats of your cinema room. The second benefit or the second pro of having two or more subwoofers is that you don't have to pressurize that single subwoofer in your home cinema room. Because typically what we all do is that we try to increase the volume levels, try to control the frequency response so that we can get the best output using one subwoofer. Now, while doing this, what we are actually doing is that we are driving the subwoofer at its maximum capacity, which leaves very less headroom for dynamic range. And at times, it also creates a lot of boominess onto the ears. Now, this is where the second subwoofer will come in with its advantage of reducing the distortion as well as increasing the dynamic range output and hence giving an overall smooth or accurate bass response in the entire room. Now, the third advantage of having multiple subwoofers is got to do more for the music listeners. Now, I know many of you would wonder that if for music listening, we go for floor standing speakers with one subwoofer, then do I still need the second subwoofer? Well, if this has been your question as well, then I want you to hit the like button right now because I am going to actually break a myth for you. Now, what happens is when you have a floor standing speakers, which is a full range speaker, along with one single subwoofer and if you are driving it in a 2.1 format then in that case the lower frequencies of the subwoofer will not match very well with the floor standing speaker and again with only one subwoofer you will always 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 have a problem in getting the right sound stage and that is where when you buy two subwoofers and you place them either next to the left right speakers in the front it will actually give you a very very nice sound stage which is required for two channel listening purposes now this also suits well for those of you who are looking for bookshelf speakers but needs to go for two subwoofers or more now the last benefit of having two or more subwoofers in a home theater room is that you will never have a localization of sound in your home theater room for instance when we know the placement of the front speakers surround speakers we always understand where the sound is coming from. But for subwoofers, ideal response has to be that we should not be able to understand where exactly the subwoofer is placed. And this, for most of you who have had only one subwoofer, I am sure you would agree that when you place it in the front wall, you will always have the bass coming together along with your front three speakers. But in case you put it at the back or at the sides, you will always realize that the subwoofer is right next to you. Now, that is a very, very wrong scenario for movie listening because in movies, you want the subwoofer to blend well with all the speakers, not just the front three speakers, but also your surround speakers. 
and that's why placing the subwoofers uniformly across the room by not just going for one subwoofer will always ensure that you will never know where the sound of the subwoofer is coming from because it will always make you feel as if the sound of the sub is actually coming from the main speakers itself now i'm sure by now you all must have been convinced that buying two subwoofers or more subwoofers is ideal required in your home theater space but also you need to consider these other side cons of buying two or more subwoofers the first one is very very easy and very very clear that buying two subwoofers means that the investment on the subwoofer is going to be double which means that the price is always going to be high when investing in two or more subwoofers the second disadvantage or the con of having multiple subwoofers is that the space of your room is going to get consumed now we know that getting a real estate is not very very uh, easy affair it's very luxury affair nowadays and then spending that space on to two or more subwoofers is again going to be difficult so that is where two or more subwoofers will also consume too much of space in the room and lastly or the third cons of having multiple subwoofers is that you need to calibrate it very very well and by calibration i don't mean just selecting two subwoofers into your settings and doing the basic crossover setup you need to actually do the phase matching you need to actually adjust the distance levels because by doing this you will be able to nullify all the negative points of the subwoofer and you will ensure the same bass response across the room and to do so you will definitely need a help of a calibration expert to come to your place and to listen to various tracks to do all the fine tune setups and then give you the right response which means that the cost behind this technical calibration expert will again be high now we have come across many comments on our subwoofer videos asking us whether i can use two different subwoofers in one cinema room well first of all it's not just about putting two different models it's about understanding what is the type of the subwoofer whether one is sealed one is ported now to those of you who want to know more about sealed versus ported subwoofer please check the link that is shared above and moving on two different subwoofers or two different types of subwoofers in one cinema room will always be a big mistake which you definitely want to avoid because a performance of a sealed subwoofer and a performance of a ported subwoofer will not match together now some would say okay how about me having two ported subwoofers or only two sealed subwoofers in my cinema room do you think that will work well to some extent it will but again it will require lot of calibration and advanced base management and base control to get the right output some of the tricks that you can do is place the powerful subwoofer in the front and place a little less powerful subwoofer at the back or at the side of the room this way you can you know ensure that the longer distance has got a higher power this is one of the ways though again we don't really recommend using two different subwoofers in one single room because managing the output of these two subwoofers is always going to be very very tricky and that's why the best option is always to go with same brand same model two subwoofers in one system or one cinema room now there are four easy placement options for two subwoofers the first option is to put it diagonally opposite for instance you can place one subwoofer at the front right side and the second subwoofer you can put it at the rear left side now this way the two subwoofers will ensure to give you a great bass output across the room the second placement option is when you put it right in the middle of the side walls and opposite to each other this way they will again give you a very very nice effective bass in the room the third option is to place the subwoofers in the corners of the front wall for instance you place one at the left hand side corner and the second one at the right hand side corner but you will have to ensure that you do the bass management and bass control again very very properly because putting them in the corners is definitely make, going to make them a little bit boomy the fourth and the last option which is my favorite to some extent is when you put it between the left and the center speaker and second subwoofer between the center and the right subwoofer by doing this you will again get a good bass response across the entire room if this video helped you and gave you a valuable information about whether to buy two subwoofers and how to place them where to place them then make sure to hit the like button and to watch more videos not just about subwoofer but about your entire home theater system then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to those of you who are wondering 
that okay then my this is all good but which sabu first would you recommend well for that make sure to watch the video which is shared right after this